Guys, welcome to Traffic Golf Centre here in Manchester. It's part five of the series of how to build a one plane golf swing. And in part five, we're going to deal with the follow through into the finished position. So stay tuned to Jared Walters Golf TV and we'll see exactly how. Guys, so looking at how we want the body to work into the follow through, if we take our setup here. <clears throat> so we've come down, we've come through into our, to our impact position here. It's at this point here as the club comes through that the shoulders will get at their steepest as we know from the dominant force and as they continue to turn and that left shoulder continues to lead the body all the way around and through into the finish the biggest thing that we need to find is that the rotation completes at least 100 degrees of turn from a dress position so it's slightly to the left of the target so when we see it from this side here <coughs> as we're turning through and we're coming through here and into the finish you'll be able to see from this point here that you can actually see quite a portion of my back and my torso is facing off to the left of the target so i'll get more than 100 degrees but we want that as a minimum requirement so 100 degrees facing left and then as we're doing this obviously as the torso is turning the arms are now getting flung around the body in the opposite way so they're going across the front of the chest the right arm is extending as it goes across the front of the chest there left arm starts to fold and again into that finish with the chest facing left of target when we look at the the rest of the rotation of the body coming through there as much as the upper body rotates we want the lower half to do the same so the hips have turned from sort of 50 degrees at impact right through to a minimum again of 90 degrees so 90 degrees will mean they are facing towards our target there if we look at the rotation here upper body is much further to the left so when we see from this side here we come down and through we can see there that the rotation of my belt buckle is more facing towards my target my upper body is facing a little bit to the left of the target the more rotation we can get the better it will be the the more consistency we can get with the club face being dragged around through as the club gets pulled but the arms getting pulled by the rotation of the body so <clears throat> The shoulders have turned and the torso has turned as of the hips. The arms have been flung across the body a little bit. And as the arms are being flung across the body from here, we'll notice that the club starts to exit below the left shoulder here. Now, this is a key point because this will show that the club has traveled on the same plane as we're coming back here. So the club from here, we're turning that left shoulder up we're getting our rotation so the club is traveling down through the bicep area below the shoulder all the way through the shoulders tilted up and then we've got that release of the club forward here by the, the arms so the club comes through the lower part of the bicep as we continue the rotation through into the finish so <clears throat> from here when we see that from this side here <clears throat> we've got that turn up so the club is traveling a similar way to the arms traveling across the front of the body and again below level of the shoulder through with the rotation all the way around you can notice there how my weight is pretty much 95 percent of it is on my left leg my front leg with my right foot is just up onto its tiptoe so i've completed a full movement of weight from impact position feeling 60 40 and then just continuing that move all the way through so most of my weight is finished up here onto my left leg so <clears throat> little recap there we've got shoulders and torso continuing to turn so that we finish at least 100 degrees from the address position of rotation through so you're facing a little bit left of your target you want your hips to rotate at least 90 degrees the more the better and um, what you'll find is as you progress through it feeling like you're getting that rotation you will start to get more and more going through uh, you want the arms to again feel like they're getting flung around the body so the turn of the torso is again dominating all the way through as the arms go across the front of the chest so it's the right arm extended across the front of the chest as the left elbow folds upwards we want the club 
to be going around on the same plane so in the exit we will see the club going through below the level of the left shoulder as it's rotated around the body we want our weight to be transferred 95 percent of it on our front leg for me on my left leg with the right toe up onto its tiptoe nicely balanced as we go through and from there the spine angle will be up and extended and nice and erect if the spine angle is leaning a little bit to the right so as we go through here into the finish if we're leaning a fraction to the right that's okay because what's happened there is the result of the of the shoulders being at their most tilted here we'll keep that spine angle a little bit there you know if we get it very erect and upright there as well that's good too so guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the series um please leave me some comments let me know how it's working for you how much you enjoyed the series uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel plenty more content there and coming soon too you can also uh, add me on facebook and on twitter look forward to seeing you guys again soon